The number one struggle that I see for players using Tracer is not aim, not target focus, it's not even landing pulse bombs. The number one problem is knowing when to blink and when not to blink, otherwise known as blink management. Hey guys, my name is Zypher. I've reached top 500 main Tracer, and today I'm going to teach you how to get the most value out of blink. Blink is Tracer's signature ability that defines what she is capable of as a hero. The ability instantly sends her 7.5 meters in the direction she is moving or the direction she is looking if no keys are being pressed. She has a max of 3 blinks at a time which are all on a 3 second cooldown. For players new to Tracer and even those with experience in the game, there are two problems that come from poor blink management. The first is constantly dying during teamfights because you somehow find yourself facing an enemy without any abilities, while the other problem is quite the opposite. It is not doing enough damage or getting enough kills for your team because you are constantly having to use abilities to back out of fights, decreasing your impact on the match. In this guide, I'm going to take you into the mind of a Grandmaster player to show you the best ways to use Tracer's Blink and the mistakes people make when using it. With Blink, Tracer can be played in a wide variety of ways compared to most DPS. Because Blink gets you places quickly and gives you a means of escape, taking positions behind the enemy team is a great way to use Blink. It is also good for crossing lanes or gaps. Using one or multiple blinks to cross an area you know is being watched by enemies is a great way to use blink for getting to better positions. And most importantly, it's dueling enemies. Chaser can be a great duelist because she can stay out of the enemy's line of sight by blinking around them or by blinking behind cover in order to avoid damage and abilities. These are all examples of when blink is used properly, but what happens when blink is used when it shouldn't be? Let's go over the most common mistakes when using blinks and what should be done instead. Wasting blinks before fights. Players will commonly use multiple blinks to engage a fight quickly. This might make sense because it means you can get to your target fast, possibly catching them off guard. But what ends up happening is as soon as you arrive at the fight, you don't have enough blinks to actually duel the enemy. So you either have to recall just after getting to where you want it to be, or you just die, wasting time and resources. What should be done instead is taking more time to walk to a fight instead of only relying on blinks to get you where you want to be. This allows you to have the blinks you will need to duel the enemies you are engaging. To maximize your time and blinks, you can cycle blinks with walking to get places as efficiently as possible. Now that you have blinks to use against the enemies, we're now at wasting blinks during fights. At this point, what most players will commonly do is position out in the open or too close to the enemy team which puts them in a dangerous situation. They then have to rely on blinking around the battlefield to stay alive until they are forced to use recall or die. Yes, they get more damage and maybe even more kills, but there is a better way to do this. Instead of relying on spamming blinks to stay alive, position yourself around natural cover. By playing around natural cover, you can stay close to the enemy without being in danger and give yourself time to recharge blinks without having to back all the way out of fights. It also gives you more time to relax during a fight, which is important because it is very easy to get riled up and nervous when playing Tracer. You are in the middle of the fight, doing damage, blinking around natural cover, and fragging out. But the fatal mistake players will make at this point is not saving one blink for escaping. Now you might think that you don't need one blink for escaping if you have recall, but remember that recall is on a 12 second cooldown while blink is on a 3 second cooldown. Always having one blink in reserve gives you the chance to get away from a bad situation during fights and allows you to save recall for making more offensive plays without being punished. If you learned something from this video, please like and subscribe to see more content like this. Feel free to comment any questions you may have or join my Discord where we interact about Overwatch and more. If you'd like to work with me personally, I offer coaching on Fiverr where I deliver one-on-one -on -one VOD reviews that will help you quickly improve as a player. All links are in the description. Thank you for watching and have a great day.